Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got a uh, simple vehicle scan here. Uh, this was done back when there were sphere targets that needed to be used whenever we went out and did any kind of uh, scanning project. So we're going to go ahead and take advantage of these spheres and we're going to register it using the sphere targets. Once that's done, we're going to have a next video where we're going to clean that vehicle uh, and make it available to export into any other program. So first of all, uh, we've got our non-registered project here. We're, because we're, we've used sphere targets and we're going to be using those for registration, we're going to go through the pre-processing, uh, grab the top folder here, configure pre-processing. Now, uh, again, we are using sphere targets, so make sure that this, uh, is, this check mark is here. A lot of times it'll default when you uh, download C into the checkerboards. Get rid of that and use sphere targets. Now it's important here, we're not using 140 millimeter spheres, so we're going to make that inactive and we're going to be putting in 150 millimeter spheres, which has got a radius of 0 0.075. Other than that, we need to make sure that the registration method is target based because if not, it's not really using the spheres for registration anyway. So target-based registration method and start pre-processing. And we've got a successful partial registration. Uh, looks like num scan number four did not come together. What we'll do is just quickly lock that cluster and uh, give this a try again. Just pop into registration. Now we can perform manual registration, but uh, being that we're going to do a different type of registration, just go over here, start another automatic registration. This time we're going to do a top view and cloud to cloud. So it's already locked our, our full um, cluster that did come together correctly. And this is just to try to pop that one scan that maybe couldn't see the, uh, the sphere targets. So we'll choose that and then go ahead and register verify. Now that we have a verification of uh, our new registration, looks as though it's come together. We'll check it out here uh, with a couple of different angles. Yep, it was an interior shot of inside of the truck cab. Got it, no problem. All right, now we'll take a look in the Explore tab. And as everything starts to load, it looks as though everything's going to be fine. There we go. And our project is loaded. We can take a quick look at it. It is correct. Um, now, you notice we did not add color. Uh, again, we do not recommend adding color to your project until it is registered, until if you decide you're working inside of scene if you're going to be uh, actually doing measuring and whatnot inside of scene uh, much much better to do that when you've got a project without color added uh, something like this project uh, done in the middle of the day uh, there could be some scans where we were uh, there was too much light from the sun uh, other times not enough light maybe in areas like this underneath the uh, 